Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, had a few requests to update the template so that it doesn't use Pinocchio and that people can start using face fusion face swaps uh, with fast AI right away. Um, fast AI is a great uh, option for virtual uh, GPUs. You know, not all of us have a lot of money to drop on a new computer or a super powerful graphical processing unit. So this allows us to take advantage of those powerful things like the NVIDIA 4090 without actually investing in the hardware itself. Um, I've created my template. It's linked down below. You're going to want to use that link. Um, I've, uh, you know, included a lot of really important stuff in the background and that you won't see as part of this tutorial, but... Uh, it's going to help speed up the process of you just getting to learn how to use the actual software itself instead of wasting your time like I have spending hours and hours and dollars and dollars uh, learning how to make face fusion just work in general. Um, so here's the readme that is uh, attached to the template. Um, okay, so this is going to be the vast home screen. When you click on the template uh, link, it will bring you to a page like this it shows you all the different options you have for gpus cpus uh, or just computers to run um, make sure it says vast face fusion vast here that's the template you're going to be using to get going so when you first log in you're going to see something like this tons of different options could be a bit dizzying it's an auto sort so what you're going to want to do is go to NVIDIA RTX 4000 series 4090. Um, by far the most powerful GPU for the purposes we're going to be using today. So I recommend that. The other thing to keep in mind, Face Fusion can only use one GPU at a time unless you're running multiple jobs. But if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty new to it and uh, not going to be running multiple jobs for a little bit. So let's see what we've got here. One thing to keep in mind, you want to be careful of the location that these uh, servers are in. Um, I try to avoid places like Russia, China, um, just places where I feel like uh, my security, my privacy might be a little bit. Um, <laughs> United States also, to be totally honest, where my privacy might not be uh, respected to the utmost. So I like uh, it's either Canada here. Norway's nice. Um, hmm. Let's see. There's really a lot of trial and error with learning which of which of these things runs the best. Um, I'm probably gonna go with this Norway option at 49 cents an hour. All right, requesting. You'll see. I've rented it. Instance created. This was on. I tried filming this video once before, so don't ignore that. Uh, that was from the last time I tried to film it. I want to try to make this video quick and easy. So once you get in here, you're going to see that it's creating your instance. This is the one we just launched from Norway. Um, ignore this. This is just for another app that I'm uh, toying around with right now. Uh, it shouldn't take very long. If you see the age of your uh, instance get over, hmm, let's say, three minutes, you probably want to click the garbage can, destroy the instance, and try another one. Um, it really shouldn't take that long to get started. So now that I see connecting, I know it's gonna launch real soon. Um, and what we're gonna do in the meantime, go over to the README, copy the first part of the basic installation. Okay, so you don't actually have to wait for the entire uh, thing to load up because what we're gonna do at first is go into this Jupyter. Jupyter Notebook down in the bottom right. Uh, you're going to get one of these warnings. It might look a little different on uh, Chrome, but you're just going to click Advanced and uh, View Page or whatnot on Safari. You just bypass it by clicking there. Okay. Sorry this video took so long to get out. I've been sick all week, but really wanted to get this done for you guys. Okay, so what your first thing you're going to do, view, open Jupyter, Jupyter Lab. You can delete or close the tab of the last, uh, last thing we had open there. Okay, so I'd already copied it, paste, enter. 
is going to install Conda for you. Let's go back to the readme, copy the next part. Okay, shouldn't take much longer. Bump, 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 done. Okay, awesome. Paste. For changes to take effect, close and reopen your current shell. So you're going to want to close this small little tab here, not the entire tab, but the small one within the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, moving on to the third part. So I have a little note here. If it says Conda not installed, um, rerun that last command. Okay, so create. It's going to ask us, do we want to install these packages? You're going to click Y, enter. And now, I like to get rid of the, the base environment here. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. So once you click the other command, it'll bring you back to your original root. And Conda Activate Phase Fusion is the next thing you copy and paste over. So now you'll see Phase Fusion in the front. That's where you want to be at. Okay, now we're going to install the accelerators. I'm trying to make this tutorial accelerated. Okay, Conda install. Let's go. Okay, this um, these accelerators are going to be probably the longest part of this tutorial. So while that's getting done, why again, while that's getting done, I'll show you guys what the actual, right, we're gonna get another one of these mornings. When you click open on your console here, it's gonna bring you to this page. And then you're gonna wanna go to this first, or sorry, second cloud flare quick turn, cloud flare quick tunnel, bit of a tongue twister. Oh, I don't need this anymore. That's going to start to load up the desktop. You don't have to do this part right now. All right, that. Uh, hopefully I'm not jumping in between things too quickly for you. So you'll see that that CUDA installation is now done. So we're pasting the next part we copied. Pip install. Enter. All right. So now I'm on the third tab, uh, showing you just what the desktop looks like. Everything I've done so far in that Jupyter terminal can be done in the Linux terminal. I just prefer to do it in the Jupyter one because I can still use my copy and paste options. Um, once you're in this Linux uh, Linux desktop, your copy and paste is only inside this environment. You can't use the you can't copy from here and placed here. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. All right, it's building the wheel. This is always the longest part. Um, just in the meantime, we'll copy the next part, get ready for it. And uh, I'll fast forward a bit here and come back when this install pip install is done. All right, that pip install is done. I went ahead and copied the next part. This CD starts with the CD root. Don't worry about what I'm doing right now. You're just gonna copy and paste. It will work for you, I promise. So now we're actually installing Face Fusion. Yippee. It'll take uh, take about a minute or two.
Now, finish saying, make me just take effect, reactivate your uh, your environment. So you're gonna copy the condo deactivate, deactivate, and activate. Okay. Done. Last step, time to run it. So. First time you run Phase Fusion is going to have to download some of the dependencies, or sorry, some of the models. It's just me. Okay. Looks like we're done downloading. So what you'll see here is you got two links. Okay. The first one is the one that will run inside the Linux. So 127.0.0.1 colon 78.60. will give you phase fusion inside Linux. Okay? This is the safest way to run it. But if you're uncomfortable with that, you have this second link here with Gradio in it. When you click that, it will actually open up in your browser. So I'll just briefly, briefly, briefly again I told you not to use this version, but I'm uh, I'm just gonna do it to show you an example. Okay, come on. 137, so almost shaved a minute off. Let's see what the final result is. Obviously not the the best video, but I mean honestly sometimes I make these and it cracks me up. This is obviously not the best best example, but there you see it. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I um, hope that was helpful. 25 minutes of recording time. I'm going to have to cut that down, but yeah, hopefully it helps you get on.